Mm. I, I can bet money that they're all going to taste the same. You know what it is about patties? The crust is so hard. Why is it so hard? Like, everything else is just soft, you know? I feel like patties have changed over the years because now they're, like, slightly bigger, whereas before they used to be smaller. And maybe back then there was it was fresher because... By 12 o'clock, if you didn't go to the Caribbean shop, you wasn't getting a patty. But now, like, later on in the evening, you can actually still get a patty. So maybe they are buying it frozen. Yeah, but even at that, like, the patties, they're always, they're always warmed up. Why am I always having warmed up patties? Give me fresh food. Mm. If if I I go to a... Caribbean shops never cook food from fresh. Chef M (laughs) is a top. Top, top chef. Chef M. Do you know who Chef M is? No, who's Chef M? Sh- even Chef Mike. Let's call him Chef Mike. Okay. Chef Mike Wave. <laughs> top chef. <laughs> Mission star. They bang out shit. Bang him out. Man, they bang him out. All right, guys, welcome to another episode of Advice with Alex and Friends, the podcast. I'm your host, Alex, and this is episode number 11. Now, I'm joined with two returning guests. They're absolutely no strangers to the podcast. If you remember episode one, that's when they made their debut. Can you reintroduce yourselves, please? Yeah, but I'm Alden, also known as Ace, DJ Ace as well. I'm Alex, also known as Alex, the boy. Okay, yeah, Alex the boy. All right then. Um, we're gonna get straight into the nonsensical things of the week, please. So, Alden, you go first, and I'm gonna go next, and then Alex can go last. Okay, but I'm also no, whatever you call it, nonsensical thing. Nonsensical thing of the week is uh my car clutch snapping. Literally, it snaps. I couldn't put it in gear. No, okay, explain, describe how it came off. Okay, I'm driving, just come back to come off the motorway, and then. I couldn't, I couldn't move my gears. So I thought, okay, maybe, maybe I won't put it in my foot down properly. But I did that. I know I'm a good driver, so I know it's not possible. So I put it in again. It wasn't going. Then all was, boom. It snaps. <laughs> I said, oh, I'll say nothing, say nothing. So I had to call the, what do you call it, the AA. I don't take it, don't take it so damn long. I was wasting it for like two hours. Then the man came. He sent me, you have to, uh, oh, it's not you can't fix it. Oh, that's what I just I just knew this is nice public transport. That's what I knew. And what you've been hopping on public transport ever since? Nah, I can't I couldn't do public transport. It's taxi and Uber for me. Taxi and Uber. Yeah. So you have money. Where's the furthest you've been so far? Me. How far how, like how like in terms of miles, how far have you had to like hop in an Uber for? Uh, Piccadilly. From here to Piccadilly? Yeah. How do you have money? You have money. So you didn't even say, let me hop on, hop on TFL. You said, you said nah, from nah, this, nah, you said nah, from nah. this house, you're going to hop on Uber. Yes. To go into central London. Well, you want to say public transport? No. Yeah. I, you, I, no, no Alden, I used it. to I'll, laugh at people I'll, when I'm driving. Alden, <laughs> deep it. No, Alden, deep it, deep it, deep it. Piccadilly, yeah, it's one of them places that you don't even drive to. You, you normally just hop on a train and you Words. keep it moving. Words. But you, Mr. Alden, I'm born on Christmas. I'm born on Easter. I'm born on, on, on all these special days, yeah. I'm born on Eid. He's Both Eids. Si- he's got 16 birthdays. Y- yeah, for real. Every month. You decide that you're going to take an Uber into Piccadilly in the daytime. Not even at night. Yeah, yes, yes. I'll do it again. <laughs> you want to be on a dirty bus? No damn way. No, I, I didn't say your bus. The bus. I said the, tr- I said the tube. No, I should be taking a train when I'm in, when I can drive. Well, yeah, but okay, you so can't not, drive because you've got no car. Yeah, but on a regular day, would you actually dro- drive right? <laughs> would you actually drive right into um, Central London for real? No, I'll drop my wrist somewhere. Yeah, so then why don't you say? So and I'll get a taxi. Yeah, you get a taxi. Yes. Oh no, so I, I didn't know you was about that life. I didn't know that you was that no, your. I said, I said from the day I passed my t- I, all that, that was my ticket. I took it to never hop in public transport again that's what I knew that is my ticket never hop in public transport again mm. I hear that okay Mr Alden Money Alden Embod make bread or die okay the world I'm back <laughs> um, my nonsensical thing of the week I think is just being tired I listen I was talking about this before yeah but this week I've just been so tired it doesn't even make sense. What time you been and, going to sleep? And what time do I... Do you know what? It varies, yeah. And also, like, I'm also nonsensical in the sense that for Lent, I was supposed to give up something and I decided to give up 
fish because I'm pescatarian anyway, but I ate fish. So you're a llama. So I'm a llama? Yeah. What does that mean? What do you mean by I'm a llama? I said not eat meat. <laughs> and now she's back to being a bear because bears eat fish. Oh yeah, did they eat any other meat? I don't think, I think bears just eat fish, you know. Maybe, maybe that's the case. Okay, alright then. Yeah, so that's my nonsensical thing of the week. It being tired all the time and me breaking my promise to God and eating fish. God forgive me. I'm going to have to find something else that I'm going to give up. But it's not going to be meat. You know what I gave up for lead? What? I gave up juice. Juice? Now how long that took? Yeah, I, I yeah. swear I've seen you drink juice. Well, yeah, three days in and I broke it. I was like, I can't give up juice. Three what? days in? That's rude. No, 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 it was a few days in. It was the same day you started drinking juice again. Did you forget? Yeah, he actually was like, uh, oh, yeah. I'm not meant to be drinking juice. Okay, drinking juice. Look, if you've had the juices that I drink, I can't plug them. But if you know what Why not? Are, Why can't you plug them? Oh, okay, I'll, I'll plug them. Go on then. Just juice. Just see What juice is that? Just juice, yeah. Pineapple and coconut. If you know what I Well, just is, is it like a KA kind of thing? Yeah, but it's better than KA. Can't guess it. Okay, so then buy it for me. Let me taste it. I'll tell you which one's better. Yeah. Oh, why, yeah. Why, yeah, why, yeah. I'll get... Uh, you know what? I'll, I'll get you. Yeah, thank you. You put it at the end. You take, show people what's better. Yeah. That'll KA. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right, all right, then. Yeah, so... Okay, what's your nonsensical thing of the week then, Alex? Me... To be honest with you, uh-huh. Brexit and s- I can't, I can't deal with it. I can't. Why? Why can't you deal with it? To be honest with you, mm-hmm. it's just like I voted to stay. Mm-hmm. We've been in the EU for so long. People mm-hmm. said the country was great before. Please, half of you were not even born to know the country was great or not. Half of you can't remember. How old were you? Ten? Let's be honest. You can't say the country was great. When was it ever great? When was it not great? Define great in the country sp- speak. Like, I don't know. W- what is this? Yeah, oh, we don't want the Eastern Europeans here. What does that do? They're taking our jobs. What jobs? Please. Are you saying that they're physically taking your jobs? No, they're doing jobs that you wouldn't do. Getting paid less for what you wouldn't do. I hear that. Yeah, so, you know. Because today, today's the day that we're actually meant to exit, in it? Because today, the filming is on Friday, the 29th of March, basically. Um, yeah, yeah, it's true. To, right, yeah. right, it is. But then, nah, two's me. Yeah, yeah. What? Yeah. But this is the thing. I'm hearing all different kinds of things about her. They're saying that they want her to, like, resign if they don't give her, um, if they don't give, if she doesn't give them what they want. But to be fair, I don't even think that they know what they want because some people are shouting referendum. Some people are shouting, um... Less, even if there's no deal, which is the dumbest thing ever. In my, like, okay, Brexit is like a really, really bad divorce. She gets you telling me you want to leave the divorce and there's no deal. Like, you people don't sign anything. Look, how, you, how can you leave then? How can you leave? How like, the other person's just going to give you pitters. Okay. Like, look at this. Yeah. From my point of view, yeah. This is taking, it's, it, it, we're kind of taking the mix. They've had three years to okay. sort out this deal and up to now, there's not, it's not, but do you know what, do you know what it is, yeah? It's not that there's no deal. She's sending out deals and believe me, I do not like this Theresa May lady at all. But what, and one thing I will say is that she's doing her best. She's doing all these deals. When she goes to parliament, people in her own party, this is what I don't like as well, yeah? We, we need to be a they united front. We need, we actually need to be a united front. Like if you're in my party, if you don't agree with what I'm saying, fine. But we're not going to do this publicly. You're not going to come and undermine me in, in, in public. Like, you're moving mad. We're meant to and be a team. Do. We're supposed to be a team. As a party, you're meant to yeah, be a team. Yeah, when we have our, our party meetings, then that's when you can move mad. Mm. But in House of Parliament, you're not going to come and yeah, move mad. Was, and that's what they do. Mm, it's true. Because I was watching, um, is it Good Morning Britain? When we Piers Morgan, isn't it? Oh, I don't watch that show. Yeah, so okay. I was watching that. Mm-hmm. And I saw... Like different MPs, you know, they got Nigel Farage and two other yeah. people. I didn't know who they were. Nigel Farage. I don't understand why that man is still allowed to speak. Look, who is listening to Nigel Farage? Nah, people listen to him. People listen to him. Uh, uh, I, can't, I can't lie. The he's, liar he's, he's, of, he's the face of Brexit. Like that man lied through his teeth. No, but he's, he's, he's good at his job. That's why he's there. What being yeah, a liar? It's not, it's not because you're good at his job. It's because yeah. people are bloody racist, man. Yeah, yeah. I won't. I won't say Brexit. And like xenoph- you're not even racist. Xenophobic. Yeah, yeah, yeah I won't say yeah. Brexit is a racist thing. It's it's a how do I explain it? It's a thing where people want to just get rid of certain people but mm. not not in a 
racing, uh, racist yeah, tongue. Xenophobia. Yeah, not even sort of, like, you just want to get rid of them. Yeah, xenophobia. Yeah, as I was saying before, her, the person on her party was just like, yeah, it, Piers asked her, you're doing a good job. He was like, he, he didn't know, he didn't say yes, he didn't say no. He was just like, uh, I don't know what to say. Mm. Like, it's what it is, isn't it? Mm-hmm. So, is Theresa May doing a good job? I don't know. Wait, so the person, so he or somebody from that party? Yeah, so it was, it was some conservative. And he he didn't say she was gonna do doing a good job, mm-hmm. so I I can't I have to be honest. Theresa May was not elected. I didn't elect her. You didn't elect her. Nobody elected her. No, but she was elected because they did another. Um... She didn't win majority. Yeah, but neither did David Cameron beforehand. Wait, no, no, no. There was one. Um, the first time that Conservative came back in after like Tony Blair and that after Labour. No, so, after no, Gordon Brown. After Gordon Brown, sorry. Um, the the Tories never won. They had a hung parliament and then um Lib Dems and Conservatives had to join together. No, but that's that's different. Okay. That's How's it different? Because the Lib Dems mm-hmm. they joined with the Conservatives to give them to give them the majority mm. votes. We didn't even give that didn't even happen. Mm-hmm. She won um by area. Mm. I don't think that counts. I think if you've got 10 votes, the other person's got nine, you win. I don't think, I, 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 don't, I don't care about area, area, because what does that mean to me? Nothing. I think if you've got the most votes, you should win, because that's more people that actually support you, more people that can blame themselves for, for whatever decisions that you make. We're not America to be going by states. What states win? Fair enough. I'm not even going to argue with you. I'm going to ask you a question. Which one is better, meat pie or patty? Mm. <laughs> I don't, I ha- mm. Which one? Yes. And why? Why? Which one okay. is better, meat pie or I'll patty? Tell you why. It's meat pie. Meat pie is better than and patty. And I'll tell you why. Why? Okay. Patty. Mm-hmm. First of all, the vast majority mm-hmm. of Caribbean shops you'll go to, to, to buy a patty, they're frozen. Dumps. They're not, they're not fresh. They're okay, not so, in the okay, so where do they get buy them from? Because me, so I want to go and buy it where they buy it from. They, it must be like some sort of, maybe it's like a Caribbean brookers. Like, Outlet, yeah. Yeah, yeah, out, yeah, like, yeah. like some um, sort of wholesale. Um, what's, this, what's, what's this other one? Costco, like a Caribbean um, Costco. No, or yeah, like a Addis. Cash and Carry. Yeah, like Addis in Willage. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. you know about Addis in Willage, yeah. Yeah, so that's for me, Pad, because first of all, a patty, there's always just, what do you call it? The inside. The, 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 the in just the inside, the filling. It's just the filling. You don't actually yeah. like the pastry itself. No, the, no, the filling will just be in the middle, little in the middle. It's not. Yeah, it doesn't touch in all the edges. It's not touching. It's not the whole pie. Mm-hmm. It's a section. Mm-hmm, That's mm-hmm. what you're really eating. But a meat pie, oh, it is everywhere. The 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 filling is touching everywhere in the pie. Let me be honest, yeah. It's pie. I have to be honest. Patty is better than meat pie. The filling in patty is is much better. Meat pie is is, is dry. You think it's dry? It's dry. No, but what about Alden's meat? Alden's meat pie bangs on. Yeah, but Alden's meat pie is not everyone's meat pie. I'm going by majority, not singularity. Mm-hmm. AZ's meat pie is a, is a, is a different story. That that's not dry. You know, I can have that, but meat pie in general. Sorry, Auntie, your your meat pie is dry. It's a tough one, you know. Um, I do love a patty. Ah, oh, do you know what? I feel like all the patties taste the same, you know. All the ones are different Caribbean oh. shops. I've been to multiple Caribbean shops. Mm. I think they all taste the same. Say so whether you get a lamb, jerk chicken, chicken, beef. There's no variation. They all taste the same. And the reason why I know, I know facts that they don't they don't cook fresh in store because if you cook the shape all the same shape they all taste the same if you go to carnival if, if you have five different patties from five different um, stools they're all going to taste the same mm. I can bet money that they're all going to taste the same you know what it is about patties the crust is so hard why is it so hard like everything else is just soft you know I feel like patties have changed over the years because now they're like slightly bigger whereas before they used to be smaller and maybe back then there was it was fresher because by 12 o'clock, if you didn't go to the Caribbean shop, you wasn't getting a patty. But now, like, later on in the evening, you can actually still get a patty. So maybe they are buying it frozen. 
Yeah, but even at that, like the patties, they're always, they're always warmed up. Why? Why am I always having warmed up patties? Give me fresh food. Mm. If, if, I, if I go to a Caribbean shops, never cook nah, food from fresh. Chef M <laughs> is a top, top, top chef. Chef M, do you know Chef M is? No, nah, who's Chef M? Even Chef Mike. Let's call him Chef Mike. Okay. Chef Microwave. <laughs> top chef. Mission Star. They bang out shit. Bang them out. Man, they bang them out. Bang them out way too much. And even, you don't even, don't even hide the fact that the macro is there. The macro will be in front of you. Why is all the food in petri dishes? Always in tubs and tubes. It's never, see, the thing about an African takeaway, they don't really put the food outside or be in the back. Maybe you'll just see the drinks. Maybe you might see Puff Puff, um, Akawa, Banana Bread. That's them sort of things, isn't it? But with Cabby shops, everything, your rice's piece is there. Your coffee got is there. Everything's there outside. Just, you know, the best of six weeks. Your festivals are there. That's true. You don't there. know how long it's been outside for a word to work. And word. sometimes I know facts. They can't even. There's no, there's no coming uh, take what I can say. Facts. They sometimes the food that they've had that same that same recipe for three or four days. Don't give a dash. They've had it for three or four days. Some of them because you're telling me you had you catered on Sunday. You're not going to use the leftover recipe so you're in your your takeaway on the, the Monday, Tuesday, well, and why Monday. Why is my piece dry? Don't get on to me about rice and peas and jollof because rice and peas is dry. Mm-hmm. Don't tell me you can swallow rice and peas without water. Go home, make yourself rice and peas, try and swallow it. Tell me you won't choke. Mums, you'll choke. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I don't know where the whole um, rice and peas is better than um, jollof rice came from. No, well, But rice- the same way that people brought it out, go and put it back inside wherever it is that you got it from because I'm not going to lie, we're not doing this today. Rice and peas is not something that you can have on its own. Jollof rice is a respective dish on its own. You don't need anything to accompany it. We just garnish it if you choose. If you're like, obviously if you're Nigerian, you don't eat it with stew, but if you're from other countries yeah, like G- Gambia, Sierra Leone, then, you know, obviously you're going to Ghana. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. Ghanaians do it as well. No, like they yeah. add stew in it. No, um, apparently some kind of fancy insults, but stew means it. And like that's that Nigeria, but there's a bank, there's a bank, okay, bank. no, but that's Nigerians. But um, J rice doesn't come from Nigeria, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, for, Whatever for your opinion is, I think, people. yeah, from Gambia and Senegal, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I never heard of Senegal before, but I knew from Gambia, I knew from day that jollof rice comes from there. I don't know why Nigerians, why we would do the most, should be shouting jollof rice. Go and sit down and shout ever with the same no, energy. It's, 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 it's the same way how they. Indomie is as when, when it's from Indonesia. That's yeah, so, when it's from Indonesia. It's so even in the name. In the name. Yeah. And they still try to quote law. And be shouting Guineas. No, nah, but they... And they, be shouting Supermalts. No, nah, they own... Is Supermalt not Nigerian? No. No? Is, is that Irish? Um, Supermalt, I'm not sure where Supermalt is from. I can Google it real quick. It's, it's you know, a malt drink, so... You know what? Island or something. Supermalt has never had an advert, but people still know about it. How do you, how do you do that? That that is good advertising because you've never seen an advert for Super Bowl. If they do, I'll give you five pounds. Anyone who listens, I never forget that dad took Super Bowl to school. They they thought it was alcohol. Oh no! Wait, Did I'm, you get in trouble? I, no, I'm a liar. Nah, nah, nah. I'm actually a liar. It says developed in the 1960s, Super Bowl and malt drinks were originally used by the Nigerian army as a dietary supplement. But that doesn't tell you where it comes from, though. What is Super Bowl? Is super malt vegetarian? Where is no, Nigerians <laughs> bang it though. You, if you don't see super, I don't, but no. But what vexes me about super malt? What's all this malt? Super uh, power malt, pa- power malt. The fake ones, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's just jarring. If it's not super malt, then it, it don't taste nice. I gotta be honest. Oh, what super malt when it's called? Bang. It's with a bang. Have super malt, J rice, some stew and chicken planted in the side. That is that is a meal. That is a meal. Little scotch chicken as well. Yeah, I don't, I don't know where it comes from. What scotch? Egg? You have scotch egg. It's not every day. Although you're good at making scotch egg, though. Nah, it's not even that. Not because I make it. I just really like scotch egg. Mm-hmm. I do. Like a good scotch egg can get you very far. What? I wonder where scotch egg is from. A scotch egg. A scotch egg. In, um. I think English. if it don't come from Scotland, then there's no point of it calling a scotch egg in it. It's definitely a British dish. I know that for sure. It has to be Irish, Irish or Scot. It has to be. Mm mm mm. I hear that. Okay, right. Um, I don't know if everyone's seen this video, but you know how people love to shout, men are trash, men are trash. 
And I've been seeing this a lot on the timeline and then I saw this video. So I'm going to see if I can play a quick clip and then we'll we'll make our, our views from there, basically. So wait, let me start from the beginning. Be honest and tell me that you're cheating on me. Is that how we're going to start this off? Yeah, that is it. We haven't talked about it yet. I didn't cheat on you. I know that you did. How do you know this? Because the girl you cheated with, I paid her 50 bucks to hit on you. Would you pay a girl to talk to me? That's some crazy You are giving off horrible energy, but I had a series of events leading up to that. That's, what do you mean? You're over there liking all these It's that. for work. It's innocent flirting that helped me get clients to, I am denying because it's not true. It, okay, sure. She's a client, and after we were working out, we got food, which was across the street. That's where not we what walked. she told me. That's what I'm telling you. She told you. me you guys had sex. I'm telling you we didn't. So are you saying she's lying? I'm saying she's lying. Let's find out from her. Okay. All right. Oh my God. Paula, can you tell him what you told me? So I pretty much told her that he took me to this really fancy restaurant and afterwards we went back to my place and hooked up. And that he came onto you in the car and you guys are kissing. Yes. Yeah, see? Well, why would you sit here and lie? I lied because... So you weren't telling Wait. the truth? I didn't think that she deserved you, so I lied. Where oh my I'm God. Concerned. Clearly, she doesn't value the faithful, amazing man that you are. I thought, you know, maybe I have a chance because... So you thought you had a chance with him, so you're trying to homewreck us so that you can be with him? Wow. Thanks. She lied to my face. And what have I been saying? <sighs> All right, well, I'm sorry for doing that and making it go that far instead of talking to you about it. I feel like... Right, so what's your first views on hearing that? Did you guys hear that before? No, I haven't heard that. Before. You haven't heard it? Okay, what, what's your first views? To be honest, she's got bread to waste. <laughs> what, the $50? She, yeah, she has bread, definitely has bread to waste. Again. coming from the guy who's doing Uber all the way to... Into Piccadilly Bibi. Circus. No, but if you have bread to, bread to waste to go and set up your man, then you're bored. You're actually really, really bored. Yeah. This man, the trash thing, yeah... Me, and my mom didn't get me from a dumpster. Yeah, I was raised properly. Me, I was raised properly. He was raised properly. I would not get from a trash. So no men are trash. Maybe the man that you have, maybe your dad and your brothers are trash. Me, I'm not trash. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I hear that. I hear that. Can't be trash. Okay, so what do you think this guy should do? Look, to be honest with you, she, sh he should leave her. Mm-hmm. If I tell you I'm not, then you believe me. Until you find significant evidence. So don't just go to a court. But no. she did. She she well, she she thought she tried to find evidence. She paid someone fifty dollars, some girl, and she, to try and set him up. Mm -mm -mm. Um, and the girl obviously, even though the feedback that she gave her was incorrect, but she gave her feedback. So that that was her leg to stand on. No. Mm -hmm. But what it is yeah? Yeah. She went to go and pay someone else mm -hmm. to think to to see if he was if i tell you i'm not cheating man woman anything if i'm a man or woman i tell you you're not cheating you take it as that you don't go and dig until you see something mm -hmm. physically sees you don't do get someone to help you do an inv investigation you will see me for me because when you go and dig you might find something that you don't want to see. If it's not there, don't look. Okay. So, what? She's trash? Trash. What about you? No, she's not trash. She's just bored. She's bored? She's definitely bored. Mm. And her man's bored as well. Why is he bored? Why do you even have time to be to even be discussing it? Oh, what? On the TV show? On that show, basically? Yeah, you're bored as well. Mm. You, they're both bored. Because how, how can you go and pay someone $50? $50? So, you see, even go and give it to charity... Or go and buy yourself, I don't know, a new toothbrush. Or oh, you pay for Uber. Oh, is, it, is it, wait, there's a 50 dollar <laughs> toothbrush or what? Yeah, electric. Oh, instead, okay, of wasting, instead of wasting time, see, dig, digging, 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 like a digging graves, to see if your, your husband's trash. Well, she just wanted to call him in the trash, you could put it on Twitter or something. Mm. Or, but she's deaf or bored, that's what I say. Be odd. <laughs> okay, so it sounds like Embod as well. <laughs> You're gonna have to keep reminding people what Embod stands for. Nah, when you know, you'll know. Okay, make bread or die. Okay, yeah. Um, right. So the next one, 
that I saw was uh, I don't have the clip right now, but basically this guy he plays some sort of game for his living for his work or whatever, and I think she deleted the game or she deleted where he was. She deleted something. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop, 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 stop. Yeah. Are you crazy? The game that brings me money. Mm-hmm. You want to go and delete it? Mm-hmm. You're nuts. You yeah, have to be nuts. Like yeah, because. She was like, well, you can get it back. You can get it back. No, That's not no. the point. That means she knows what she was doing then. Yeah, because... um. Now, that... Women are trash. Ah, wait, wait. Because wait, if wait. I don't bigger money, would you not... Would the women not call me trash? Yeah, she'll start calling me broke. Bought this, bought that. Look, you deleted my funds. That's how I make bread. Mm-hmm. That's how I put food on your table. Mm-hmm. That's how I buy you your gums. Yeah. That's how I take you out. <laughs> yeah, and you just... Get rid of it. Finne. Like, it's nothing. Yeah, I, 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 I'm I, not going to say... Please don't take what I'm saying, like, verbatim, yeah. But I think that she deleted either the game or she deleted the level that he was at the game. Like, he was he was somebody. Yeah, but clearly... Way, yeah, obviously, she, she messed up the game somehow, some way. Let's just say that. And then she was so calm. Like, you can just get it back. Like, even him, like, he... When she left the room, because it, the, it was being... I don't know. It was being recorded. I don't, maybe she was recording him. I don't think he was recording himself. Was it a prank? Like, no, it wasn't a prank because th- he was crying. He was oh actually, my I, I actually God. felt like it, it was really sad. He started crying. Oh he he kicked God. things. He was like, you need to get out. Like, you need to get out of my face to her. She was like, why? Like, you can get it back. Like, that kind of thing. And she was like, he was like, you need to get out of my face because I'm going to do something to you if you're still there. And then she was still, even when he was talking to her, telling her like, no, that's not how it works. She was still from the other room making noise. So he kicked off all the boxes, kicked bare things, whatever. And then he sat down. And that's how I knew it was not, that's how I knew it was not a prank. Because he started crying. Like, you know that in my chest, in my chest, kind of cry. He felt it. But like, we need to remember like, the game was probably playing. It was the the certain level he was on, clearly. Mm. Took him a long time and hard work. Yeah. Clearly, because people forget that if some games, the higher the level you get, you actually get paid. Like, you get, you get paid. paid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get paid more than these governed jobs and all of that. Yeah. Like, all that's why people jobs. have Fortnite parties and stuff. Yeah, like, no, you get paid racks, like, big money. Mm. So for her to go and delete it, that, first of all, that means she doesn't rate him. Mm. That means she, she does not rate him because you, you're d- deleting my. You're taking. You're reducing. Reducing my grind. That's his, that clearly that is his work, isn't it? That is the way he gets his money, and you just take that away from him because of your stupidity. Yeah, you have to be stupid to do that. That you're telling me, oh, if you if, if you get my phone, if you can get it you, back. You can always get it back. No, nah, this is like you know when you start ripping up my clothes or throwing my stuff out the window. Look, if 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 it was on the other hand, remember throwing start doing the same. I don't know what would happen. Mm. No, you're you here. Men are trash. Yeah. Men are trash. You know what? I'm... You just, just like, you can say men are trash or whatever. I, I don't care because I know I'm golden apple. Golden apple, you know. <laughs> All right. So um, there was a video. I think it came out this week. If not this week, then last week. And basically there's this guy on, I, I want to say New York on a subway. And he's... He's a man, you can tell he's like an older guy. I, I don't know how old he was, like maybe in his 40s or something. And he's basically kicking down an old lady. When I say old, she's like 70, 80 years old plus. He's like kicking her down. That's so peak. Don't laugh because the video was disgusting. I'm not laughing. Okay, good. Complain 31. Just checking. Okay, all right. So then, um, yeah, he's proper kicking her down and no one does anything to intervene. Um... All that happens is, like, yeah, he just gets recorded. And then, obviously, it was all over the place, like, on Instagram, Twitter, whatever. It's being shared. And th- quite a long story short, the man has been arrested for that. But what do you think about people sharing these kinds of videos? Sometimes sharing it can bring people to justice. Okay. But then some people share it for the sake of, oh, yeah, look at this, see this. Mm -hmm. Can you see this? Have you seen it? Sort of thing. So sharing it for gossip should be allowed. But then there's lots of countries like North Korea do censorship. 
So, I mean, it depends really what country you're in because if you're in, like, some country in the Middle East, that video would have been taken down ASAP. But obviously, it being... Was it America from Quix? Yeah, it's America. Yeah, that video's going to go viral in seconds. But yeah. then again, how can you record it? Yeah. Clearly, no, clearly, if you're recording it, you, you, you're, you're, you're entertaining it, basically, if you're recording it. Because if you, if you had time to record it, Clay had enough time to, to intervene. Stop it. Yeah, yeah. You, I can't. I just can't see someone getting beaten up and just not doing nothing. What am I? Am I a statue to just watch? Oh, I'm superhero. No, stop it. It's not about being a superhero. You're not going to see someone getting racked up or not trying to do nothing. Nah, in some cases I would. Sometimes it's not your business to get involved. Okay, well, you're not gonna what if someone needs help. You've got to help them. It's, it's, it's a natural human thing to do. Like, instead of getting out your phone and recording it, can you not assist? Like, when you see someone, I don't know, because I, I, I remember one time I was with, I was on the train and there was a guy trying to get in. Everyone was just watching him, watching him. No one helped him get in. I helped him get in. I was just watching him. But then those are the same people that would want to go report to the police when they see someone fighting, but they wouldn't intervene. If you intervene, you can save a life. Think about it that way. Fair enough. Was there any apparent reason why this gentleman was kicking this? This is the thing. I don't think we'll ever know. I don't know why. I don't know. There was clearly a reason. Yeah. There was clearly a reason. But some people, they're just mad. Yeah, but I reckon there was a reason. For everyone to just... Those hella... Probably... It's a tube. It's it's America. There's probably hella people in that tube. Let's be honest. And there's just people recording it instead of nobody trying to get it, intervene and help or stop it. But that's the age in which we're living in. Like, I'm actually scared because... Everyone's if something cameraman. Bad, yeah, everybody's cameraman. If something is actually happening to somebody, they're in a state of panic, state of shock, they need help, there's been an attack. The first thing that people do is whip out their phones. Now, don't get me wrong. I can understand if, like... When we go back to these whole American shootings and things like that, people recording because it's some sort of evidence because a lot of the time when you say, okay, this this happens, whatever, people start asking you for evidence. And if that's the case, at least you've got evidence to show them. That being said, everybody is pulling out their phone, not even for evidence, but just to for likes and retweets on social media. Now, I won't say so much for likes and retweets, I'll be like, but look what I have. Okay. But it's still clout. That's still likes and retweets. Well, still. Mm. Or it's sharing. Still, yeah, sharing. I think sharing, it's more the yeah. sharing. This video came from me, sort mm-hmm. of thing. That's what People I, even want to watermark it as well. They have, they, you know, have the audacity to watermark it. No, that's that's just peak. Definitely. That's 100% peak. Like, you can't just watch someone... Violence. You can't just watch violence. And I guess it's broad daylight. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And just watch it and not do anything. But you ha- you can record it. That's en- it's energy to record, you know, because yeah. you have to focus. Whether you like to say or not, you have to focus whilst you're recording. Yeah. So, you could, so the, the same energy you used to record it, the same energy you could have said, oh, stop. Not even, actually, I don't even really be hearing stop because being verbal, when stuff is physical, yeah. the, the verbal doesn't do anything. That's true. Because if you're if you're fighting someone, the, someone saying stop, stop, stop. Some most of the time doesn't do anything. So what if five people came and pulled that guy off? That guy probably would have got off this old person or this elderly person, whether it was a man or woman. Yeah, yeah, I hear that. Nobody, nobody intervened at all. It just made me really sad when I saw that, and people just share things without any remorse. Like imagine that was your grandma. Imagine that could that's somebody's grandma. Can't do nothing because you're not there. Mm. Wow, Ooh, Chile. That's what I can say. Well, um, the last thing I'm gonna say in regards to videos because I feel like we've talked a lot about videos, but this one I think was even last week. So, quite a long story short, I don't know if you guys saw this, but there was this guy and he was basically on the phone to a girl and. Maybe she was saying, you don't really rate me, you don't really respect me, that kind of thing. And he was just telling her, and what? Like, basically saying, because he slept with her, and he's going to do it again. Like, you can't come and chat to me. Why are you making noise? Like, he was just talking to her anyhow. He was very, even the way I'm talking about it, he was very, I've even made it sound nice. He was rude. 
that is somebody's son so my issue with it was like him of course being disrespectful to her she's still on the phone taking all of this abuse and one of his hideo friends was behind the camera recording him whilst he's doing this and clearly is one of the friends that decided to like share the um the video around so if you're in that position and your friend is talking the wickedest or the maddest to a girl what would you intervene mm -hmm. would you record it what would you do i'll tell you i won't record it neither would i intervene because because it was vice versa would would anyone actually want to stop a woman talking to a man like that so obviously if the friend's recording it there's there's clearly a reasoning do you think so? Do you think that there's yeah. actually a reason in this day and age? Yeah, there must be. For because if you record it, you know that's gonna go places. That friend always has that, even if that friend deletes what um whatsoever's on that phone or what's on that camera recorder. It's always there. It's always there. Mm. Even if you delete it, you can always get back. It's always there. So that friend already knew that video was going places, mm -hmm. and he was going to post it. Mm. Whether it's YouTube, Snapchat, fit. That person really knew that video was going to go places. Mm. And the friend knew... I mean, you know when someone's recording you? If you're in the same room and you're right next to each other, you know they're, they're recording you. So that... The person that was speaking on the phone, to whoever was speaking to the uh, the, the girl on the other side, already knew, yeah, I'm going to say this, I'm going to say that. Because you, you know you're being recorded, so you're entertaining... You're both entertaining each other. You're, you're trying to be entertaining, you're entertaining each other. Each other. Let's be honest, the, the girl knew what type of guy he was. Or, don't tell me you don't. Like, you, can, you have to judge character from the beginning. If you can't judge character and, oh, get upset, please. Whatever happens, happens, isn't it? You have to deal with it. Life, you got to make mistakes. And some people make many, but it happens. Simple. What, the girl, like, in making mistakes? Are you talking about the girl making the mistakes or the guy making mistakes? Well, she clearly she just spoke, slept, chose the one person to sleep with. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree, for real. There's, yeah, there's a level of accountability that has to be taken. If it was the other way around, nobody would be complaining. So you're taking it from the guy's point of view, saying that, I'm like, both, both you're saying them. the energy. You're saying, if we have this energy for men, we men. should have this energy for women as well. Yeah, keep the same energy mm -hmm. throughout. The energy shouldn't change whether regardless if it's uh, male or female. Keep the same energy. Both for both genders. I hear that, I respect that. Okay. Right, um so this episode's coming out on Mother's Day and as it stands, what are we getting, Mummy please? How? Huh. <laughs> <laughs> you see, the thing about Mummy, yeah, whenever we buy her something, she always gives it away. She always gives it away, whether it be the foot massager that mm -hmm. we bought her, she gave it away. You bought her trainers, she no gave way. them away. Like, whatever it is that we buy, there's been very, very few things that we've bought her that she actually keeps. Few? Okay, what else did she give away? What did she keep? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, um, we're definitely struggling. What are we going to get? Oh, we're getting a, a new phone. Nah, so, sometimes... I'll ask her to go with the traditional flowers. But then, mummy don't like real flowers, no, does she? Will the she will actually she'll throw, throw the flowers, the flowers away. She'll throw them in the bin. No, because she'll like them. Because yeah. she'll use them. Because she doesn't use them, yeah. She hasn't got the energy. But to be even know a word, it's hard keeping flowers. Look at me. Remember when I bought my flowers from Asda? Where are they? In the bin. <laughs> <laughs> so it's actually hard. Like, it's a, it's a skill to keep life plants. But, um... I'm sure we'll figure something out. We still got we still got Amazon. So if we order something tomorrow, do you know what? If we order something in even in the morning or when we finish recording this, it come tomorrow night. But I'm just gonna be at home. Like, exactly. Know. And when you say open the door, <laughs> I didn't hear it. Who? Me? What me? No. Are you going to be at home for you to hear it? I always hear. Do you know what's mad? I always hear the delivery. I but, always hear it. But I won't hear anyone no, 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 else knock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the the one that delivery service that gets me is her mess. Yeah, what yeah. about them? The, because when they say it's been dispatched, oh gosh, no, that means it's coming today. <laughs> that's coming today, today, today. I didn't know that till I had a delivery one time when I thought, oh, okay, it's been dispatched. Okay, oh, okay, yeah, that's coming tomorrow then. Within the next 24 hours, I should have it. 
Mm. That's coming today. Mm. They don't. That's why credits to DPD because they'll give you time slots. MS mm. will never give you a time slot. Remember that UPS trash. UPS, yeah, UPS is. I trash. will never forget. I was going on holiday. I can't remember where I was going on holiday to. I ordered something. They said it was coming. UPS said it was coming today, 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 today. I Wait. waited that whole day. I didn't go anywhere. This is the day before. They I have out. no tracking. I did. There's no tracking. I waited in the house the whole day. Then they had the audacity to say that it's been delivered. Are you mad? No, no, no. They said that they failed delivery attempt. But I was here. Like, I didn't go anywhere. They lied. I was they, they, lied, they, lied. they lied. But Joe Speak, the one you can't finish is DPD. They will they even take pictures. They delivered it to your neighbour. They will take a picture of your neighbour's front door. It's true, it's true. And they even tell you the name of the driver. Oh, what's our one? Anthony. Yeah, ah, 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 it's not Anthony. Who is it's, it? The, it's called an Ants. Ants. So people know his government. It's called an Ants. No, but there's bare guys with the name Anthony. Come on now. Okay, Anthony. You, Anthony, yeah. You buffoon. The, yeah, because it's always him. Always Anthony, for real. Then some, sometimes Anthony likes to ask stupid questions. Well, he gets excited. Yeah. Mom's. Well, what's your name, Jim? Well, the Amazon delivery dr- driver that asked me the other day, he was like, oh, have you lived here for long? Oh, what country are you from? Stuff like that. Now you see another excited one. Keep it moving. Deliver my post. Keep it moving. <laughs> Keep it moving. Like, Don't they oh. get... I actually feel it. They're on the go, you know. 24, you know. Maybe that's why they like to make conversation. I don't know. I'm just trying to think of why they ask questions that I think are a little bit inappropriate. Yeah, some of them, they're weird. I've had, we've had some weird drivers. Delivery people. I've, do you ever feel uncomfortable that like these people know where you live? Yes. Mm. I feel like if you've had, for example, that I've clocked that Christmas time, deliveries are popping to the yard. Mm. You know, this is it's constant. Fast as they think, what is in these parcels? Mm. Like it's a, it's the be- like for example, like places like DPD they deliver like TVs and stuff. So obviously, if they're delivering a the TV, a TV doesn't come in a box in a box. TV just comes in one box. Do you get? It? So. They really know that that's a TV. I mean, they could perform robbery. They could set you up. They could do a lot of things. But obviously, there's there's a level of trust you have to have in terms of a driver. But if anything, remember, if anything goes missing, it's always the driver at fault. Before you are at fault, the driver's at fault. Even if that that parcel or that product that you're waiting for was, uh, went missing in, 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 in depot, yeah, it's always, always going to be the driver's fault. You could do a lot of scams if you are a postman, you know. It would actually work out. Because you could say you live at an address, not deliver the, the mail when it comes, and then obviously keep it, keep the mail for yourself, open it, and do that. Because you wouldn't have to deliver it. So it would make sense. Um. So, yeah. Right, we but we also need to sort out what we're gonna eat on Sunday as well. Do you think we should just? Do you think it's bad like that? Because this whole restaurant situation is actually stressing us out. It's just well, I don't know about you guys. It's stressing me out. Let me speak for myself. It's not, it's not stressing me out. I'll right. tell you why. The cereal, the soup in the fridge. <laughs> okay, you eat. So do you think we should make her Sunday dinner instead? No, that's just that's casual. That's that's uh, that's an everyday thing. Mm. I'm gonna be honest. I don't want to eat because we've been. Chinese quite a bit. Yeah, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do Chinese. My, my mom don't eat Indian. I'm just be honest. She likes spicy food, so she can't do that. Even mild, she can't do it. Mm. So, okay, is there any like Caribbean, African restaurant? You, you know she's not doing Caribbean. Why not? Like, Caribbean no, she African do Caribbean. debate. She's definitely on the African side, and she's not gonna want African food because she cooks. She'll it say that she cooks it well. Right, guys, we've come to the because I want to segment introduced by yourself Alden you're the one that gave me this idea so um, I think you should go first it's only right uh, what's that do because I want to um, I, I bought cruise for the whole family because I want to you just felt like eating it yeah yeah no, I, I just wanted to ask you but I thought let's go for the whole shebang mm. just went for, it's got creams in it mm. and also I, I don't normally sleep with socks on the bed I set the socks on the bed <laughs> I want to because it's not, it's not you know it's not warm that it's not cold so I thought let me wear socks on the bed I'm not gonna lie I, I do sleep with socks on because 
it's only now i feel like it's getting a bit warmer now but i've i stay sleeping with socks on because it's cold i hate my feet being cold i don't like that that feeling i like i like going to bed with socks on and then taking them off what when you're in the bed yeah, when it's warm yeah yeah people that do that they're not normal <laughs> yeah because they your socks. oh wait 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 do you not do that yourself no, no, no. Mine was unintentionally. I don't mean to take off my oh. socks. My, no. that, my socks fall off my feet. Then how can you say that if you do the same thing? Are you a hypocrite or what? Because it's very, it's very nice, can't lie. If you haven't done it, do it. And yeah, but then do you make sure that you take the socks off the bed? Because what I don't want is to start hopping in the bed and the there's bed. lots of socks on the bed. And socks... Did, listen, let's talk about that because um, I'm starting to believe that objects get up and move because I don't understand when you put something down and all of a sudden you cannot find it. Yeah, or some object, objects definitely have legs. They definitely have legs. They're waiting for us, like Toy Story, and they get up and they move around. I truly believe this. No, no one so can come nice. and tell me anything different. I don't care. I do not care. Because even when... even. <clears throat> Let me even be quiet because objects have got legs. Don't put this gonna come and tell me anything it's different. The, it's the cats that are moving it. Anyway, Alex, what's your because I went to you this week? I left socks. You what, to going to bed sleeping in socks? I, I, I left socks in my parents' bed because I can. <laughs> what? <laughs> what's the damn no, hell? No. Alex, can you be serious, please, for once in your life? Alex, can you be serious, please, for once in your life? Can you say something that makes sense, please? What? Who's still knocking? I left socks in my parents' bed. I know, Alex, get out. Get out. If that's what you're going to say, word, we're not doing this. That is seriously it. All right, so you don't I used my parents' toilet because I wanted to. Okay, so Alex has doesn't have a because I want to this week. Um, right, my because I want to, I'm trying to think of something that I bought for myself this week. Um, I bought a new bag, not going to lie, yeah. Um, yeah, I my because I want to this week, I bought myself a new bag um, and I saw it online and the price that it normally is, it was significantly cheaper. So I was like, oh, okay, fine. Let me go ahead and buy this bag so that's what i did this week and it made me really happy um so yeah when am i gonna be using this bag not very often because it's white but i have it now and it makes me happy so yeah that's that's it really right guys we've come to the end of the show thank you very much to my guests i'm sure they'll be returning again at some point what is it every 11 episodes why not okay when you can afford me when I can afford you, so yeah. you're, you're so expensive. All you have to, all I have to do is uh, buy you Jaffa cakes. And you'll you'll be the <laughs> be Next time it will be Jaffa cakes and cookies and milk. Okay, right. So, guys, thank you very much for listening. As always, it's not by force for you to take our advice, but if you know that you want to progress in this life. Don't go on social media and be posting anyhow. Post things that make sense. And don't you dare say that Rice and Peas is better than Jennifer Rice. Because it really isn't. On that note, shine your eyes and open your ears. That's the Advice with Alex podcast. Follow from Alexandra X. And always use AWAF as the hashtag. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye is me. Me is I. I don't know, Have a good one.